Content reuse. Too much content reuse in Shadowlands. This is what I want to talk to you about today as part of another semi-analytical, semi-ranty, philosophical kind of little chat where we will talk about the state of the game, state of World of Warcraft. Is the game stale? Is there too much content reuse? Is there just enough content reuse? Is it okay? Is it not okay? That is the type of conversation that you are settling in for, hopefully, and I will um, get started in a second. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, I'm Gyro, um, you're most welcome here if you're new here. We talk about casual approach to gaming and World of Warcraft specifically, we play alts, we make no apologies to um, elitists who think that this game needs to be treated with every bit of kind of scientific approach to it, and we're not doing it. We are just having fun, and we're talking about what this game has become lately. I know a lot of you, including myself, in elements of it, a lot of you are still enjoying Shadowlands expansion. I insist on the fact that this game is in a state of a lull and it's stale, it's very stale. Why do I say that? Why do I keep repeating it? Well, first of all, I would like to form a little bit of a club here of like-minded people who are not negative, but we are adults enough, we are mature enough to understand that there is a difference between negativity and providing feedback. Providing feedback, constructive feedback, not polishing a turd but calling it for what it is when it comes to that because otherwise products will not improve otherwise developers do not hear how things really are but today i thought that again i was in a mood to talk to you a little bit podcast style you can just crank me up in the background and start ironing ironing your clothes if that's what you want because the footage here i suppose is non-essential it's the conversation that's essential for us i want to talk to you about content reuse content reuse in World of Warcraft. So naturally, from the business perspective, from the development perspective, it always makes sense to create products, digital products, such as a game, with multitude of reusable components. This makes further cycles of development, further cycles of content production much cheaper for the company. So peop people who are creating this game for us, they basically Put lipstick on a pig here, recolor some armors here, do something else here, do something else there, and boom, here you go. It's not a it's not a handcrafted bespoke product where every stone has been placed there by a designer deliberately, but these are templates. We're dealing with kind of templates, blocks of reusable content. Me as a person who is not very far from the digital digital value production scene, I suppose, as far as my profession is concerned, I understand it. I very much understand it. In fact, I facilitated in many ways or in, in my past roles in my career, and I've done well doing that as well. So in this particular case, however, I have been simply plain and simply, I've been playing alts and I've been just leveling my new alts and going through the Covenant campaign. And that is where this topic kind of sparked, kind of came in my mind and, and sparked the idea that I probably should create a video and talk to my people a little bit about it because not my people, they certainly would not see enough entertainment in this rant. They probably already have left the station. See you later, guys. Um, is there too much content reuse specifically in the context of Covenant campaigns? Because that was front and center for me. As you can see, I'm switching here between one Covenant campaign and another, between Venthia and between uh, uh, Kyrians. I have not saved the footage of me going through Necroload campaign, but there is a video on my channel that was published not long ago when we were talking about how good actually the alternative gearing path through Covenant campaign that gives you gear as you progress through Covenant campaign, how good that path is. Well, I was very impressed with both the Necrolord campaign story and with the very first time of seeing that campaign play out end to end. Especially I like gear. I like gear, I'm a casual, I make no excuses for it, and no apologies for it. And it, it was cool for me to see that I am given that gear, I recommended it to you guys and girls, and all the elements of that campaign were fine. Then I started pushing further and further and further, and Venthyr happened to be the next one, happened to be the, another alt that I got stuck on, Enhancement Shaman. And I was progressing on the campaign and then I was like, oh. 
There are actually quite a lot of storyline and quest intersections between these campaigns, a lot of them. I wouldn't say that at that point it hit me like, oh, content reuse, blow the whistle, whatever. First of all, again, I'm not against content reuse. I'm only on the outlook for too much of that content reuse because that cheapens the experience. That's what I'm, that's what I'm kind of the key message of this whole video is going to be that. I think it's about the balance. I think there needs to be content reuse and there is plenty in the game, obviously. But now, uh, going back to the campaign, right? So that first time when I'm doing Venthyr after having done Necrolords and I'm like, there is a lot of overlap here, but that's probably tactful, tactful, good, well-balanced content reuse that's happening in Shadowlands. That was okay. But then I finished the campaign on my Enhancement Shaman, literally simply ran out of things to do this week on my alt, as far as my ceiling that I talked to you about in the video about alts, should you roll many alts, that is when the single player game of this week for my Shaman has finished. So I was like, okay, I have some more time, you guys and girls don't seem to be interested in Valheim, Outriders demo, I'm done with it, I'm waiting for the launch of the game, there is not much for me to do there. So I went back to WoW and I have blown the dust off my Demon Hunter and Demon Hunter was Kyrian and I was like, okay, well, let's kill some time, produce some content, it's good for me, good for you guys and girls and I thought I'm gonna do Kyrian campaign. Yes, Kyrians are chasing their own things and Kyrians are, you know, driven by their own agenda, so to speak. But the overlap of campaigns, especially having done two of them already to the end, yeah? I haven't done Ardenweald yet, but having done two to the end, the, this overlap became more evident quicker. And I would also say, while, Kyria, while Venthia do make, uh, send you on a lot of errands around Revendreth by themselves, they have actually large component of the campaign that is literally Venthyr, literally Revendreth campaign as opposed to overlaps with other areas. Kyrians overlap with Necrolords straight up. Kyrians pretty much also have bits and pieces of their own, bits and pieces, yeah? Which are boring, by the way. I still think that Kyrians are boring, generally. Everything about them is boring, yeah? But this reuse of the content and heavy, heavy, heavy overlap with Necrolord campaign became so evident to me straight away that I was like, okay, I'm done. I already had the thought of talking to you at some point about encourage a conversation with my community and say, do you feel that there is too much reuse of the content and cheapening of the game? You know how when we were talking about you know, uh, alts I think I was talking about in the other video and I said, I do feel, making no apologies, I love World of Warcraft, I don't need slamming for it, by you, I love World of Warcraft. It's passion talking as opposed to negativism. But I think that the game became a bit soulless, a bit soulless, a bit cheapened. Well, content reuse and treating me like that, like, ah, Gyro doesn't need new content in patches 0.5, let's just let him sit there in a lull and say nothing, by the way not how it works. I find my own ways and I offer you my ways that might work for you as to how to entertain ourselves in WoW if we are addicts anyway. Outs. Alternative progression. Alternative progression lines until you hit the line, then you reset the line and you progress on another alt. That's how I do it. That's how I do it. Um, but having done now, not to the end, I'm almost at the end, the Kyrian campaign, I was like, you know what, for what it's worth, unscripted, time is right to talk to my people about me starting to feel like now I can see just how much overlap is there in the content of the campaign. And yes, thank you very much Blizzard for the free gear that comes from the campaign. Yes, there is some interesting bits and pieces. Yep, yep, there are some bits and pieces that are interesting. But for me, right now, I start feeling like there is just a bit too much of that content reuse. Does it make any sense? And this, in essence, as you've gotten used to my videos, uh, it's a 10 minute video, often usually I try to kind of stick to it to have some consistency, but at the same time, the message is very simple. My message is I always uh, create these videos as a start of a dialogue. I love talking, I love talking to you in, my co in the comments down below. I absolutely do, even if you disagree, as long as you're not trolling me and as long as you are not a white knight. I kind of have zero tolerance for it, so before we get 
antsy with each other, I'm just pre-warning you. Like, as in, express your opinion, you don't have to agree with mine, I welcome yours, I welcome it. It doesn't have to be to agree with mine, as long as it's well articulated and respectful to your surroundings. But this was my mood and thinking process for you to talk to you today. I'm still having fun in the game. Especially Enhancement Shaman for some reason just sucked me back in even though right now I'm going through Kyrian campaign, yeah, on my Demon Hunter. There will be another video where I will talk to you, spoiler alert, about how boring, boring I find Demon Hunter for some reason. I don't know what happened to me. Demon Hunter was huge for me in 8.3 in Horrific Visions, huge! But after having played now other classes and spending extra time, extra time by my standards on my Enhancement Shaman, let's say, I find Demon Hunter inexcusably horribly boring, but that is for another video because there we'll talk about specifics, we'll talk about specific examples of that boredom. Anyway, lots of dump of thought today, but that was, sometimes videos are like this, sometimes it's not about a specific alt, specific experience, sometimes it's about how I feel about the game. I hope that some of you at least align with me, talk to me in the comments down below, do you feel like there is too much content reuse in World of Warcraft now? that becomes more and more and more transparent to you? And do you feel like it cheapens the experience, is my question to you. Do you feel like they cross the line of that fine balance and now it's a bit disbalanced, now it's a bit towards the line of cheapening and they shouldn't have crossed it. There is reuse, but they should have stayed somewhere here. This is my question to you today. And this is uh, these are my expressions, obviously. So obviously I expressed my opinion. So I do think that they have crossed that line. Yet, World of Warcraft is still our game and all of these conversations, all of this feedback, all of this sharing of information and buzzing as a community, as our little community, is part of us contributing to the game and hoping for the better. That is my always positive, very positive outlook onto this game. I hope you share it. If you do, please hit the like. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because you're most welcome here. It's an unpretentious, casual, friendly channel where you will not be judged. Thanks very much once again. I'll be speaking with you very soon in a couple of days time. See you later. Bye-bye.